Opposition after deciding not to dispute President-elect Emerson Ningogwa's election in court, Citizens Coalition for Change CCC claims it is now putting its hopes on the Southern African Development Community SADC and the African Union AU intervening. After Ngogwa was declared the victor of the presidential election held on August 23rd and 24th, the CCC challenged the results. Gift Saziba, the party's deputy spokesperson, told Newsday yesterday that the party had decided to turn to SADC since it had exhausted all domestic options for resolving the election dispute. Saziba declared, the situation that Zimbabwe is going through is not a legal one. We are quite hopeful that the SADC and AU would assist Zimbabwe in resolving its political turmoil. All household cures that could help with the problems have been used up, according to Saziba. He claimed that despite many attempts to contact SEC about different abnormalities, the CCC received no helpful responses. Even as the head of state, we wrote to Umnim Kogwa to discuss a number of electoral violations, but we never heard back. At the court we filed several cases, most of which we lost. We petitioned the courts over various issues relating to the voters' role, distribution and printing of ballot papers, their printing and storage. We petitioned the courts against FAZ ZANU PF affiliate Forever Associates of Zimbabwe. But we did not receive any favorable response, he said. In order to push for a new election, CCC officials are currently engaged in a diplomatic operation to win the backing of African countries and SADC. Electoral theft and disputes are currently causing a vicious cycle in Zimbabwe. What we need right now is a long-term fix to the problem. We do not want a short-term fix because it will only lead to a repetition of the problem. The issues at hand are therefore outside the purview of the courts. As it stands, the only option we have is for SADC and the AU to become involved. Our problems are known to all the Chapter 12 institutions. The National Peace and Reconciliation and the Human Rights Commission. These issues were also addressed in our pre-election pact document, Saziba continued. We even presented our alternative electoral reform bill to Parliament. Political observers predicted that if the CCC had brought a lawsuit challenging Mnimkogwa's election, the court would not likely rule in its favor. Director of the Zimbabwe Democracy Institute Petsasai Rohenia stated that there is now common cause that ZANU-PF opponents have not benefited from the judiciary's role in the election contestations. With the exception of the Bulawayo 12 MPs case, no cases during the pre-election period have favored opponents. Going to court would have dampened the morale of the opposition supporters who are aware that the elections were not conducted fairly. Neither apartheid nor the battle for Zimbabwe's liberation were addressed in the courts, he continued. Political solutions are needed for political issues. According to political analyst Eldred Masananga, the CCC may not have filed a petition to challenge Umnengogwa's victory because of a lack of trust in the judiciary. Filing a complaint against them is a waste of time and resources because the judiciary and the majority of pertinent institutions are a part of ZANU-PF. Any effort to disprove ZANU-PF's validity, in Masnanga's opinion, was actually giving them legitimacy. Thus, by failing to file a case, CCC effectively dismissed the entire government apparatus, including the judiciary. The perception of legitimacy has been strengthened and conveyed to both the local populace and the larger international world by CCC.